Hello, everybody. My name's Jake. I'm the guy crawling around on his hands and knees with a cat on his back. I know what you're all thinking. Why would anyone tuck that shirt into those shorts? I don't have that answer for you here, but I can answer another burning question you all have. How are the kittens doing? Yeah, this is week three of my family having adopted two baby kittens. This is one of the two. That's Link. I think I mentioned that before. His brother Simon is also a heck of a back climber. Proof right here. That's my son Rocky over there. You guys met him in some previous videos. Yeah, every time I get on, every time I bend over a little bit, one of these dudes is on my back. And it's not just my back that they're climbing, guys. The screen door's getting it from all angles. I keep leaving the sliding glass door more and more shut, trying to leave them less real estate to tear apart. You can see there's been a repair down there. But uh, at a certain point, I just gave up, opened the slider all the way and said, screw it, gang, have at it. It's a rock climbing convention in my living room every day. I love it. Screw it. It's fun to watch. Let's have a watch. Rocky's watching. He's eating breakfast. And look at the muscle structure on uh, Simon's back up there at the top. He is quite a little mountain lion underneath all that fur. Speaking of Simon, there he is helping Rocky and Mama with some dishes. Good boy, Simon. Here we have Rocky teaching Simon the meaning of Christmas. And Link watching TV like he always does. He's a TV addict. He has a problem. We're working on it. Another thing we're working on is meal time. I shouldn't say we're working on it anymore. I think we've got it figured out now. But it was a work in progress for the first couple weeks when we got the kittens. Every time I'd make a noise anywhere near the kitchen, this is what would happen. Just a chorus of meows and the cats kind of frantically crawling up my pants and up my back. They were very hungry. I just thought they were super hungry cats, you know, or kittens, I should say. Um, but then I realized I went and looked online. How much food should I be feeding a kitten? And I wasn't feeding them enough. That's what it was. I was probably giving them like 70% of what they needed. And they do. They run around all day. They climb everything. They play a lot. So their metabolism's up. So you got to give them more food than you think you should give them. So lesson learned on that. Once I started giving them more food and once I started regulating the times that I fed them to where they can kind of expect it a few times a day, it really helped out. Now they're pretty good eaters. They're no longer trying to steal food from each other. You guys may have seen that in the last video when Link was kind of stealing some of Simon's food. We got that kind of worked out too. They are eating a lot now and they are getting much bigger. Yeah, we've got a couple photos here that I hope will illustrate the growth. Here's a few pictures of them sleeping in the same little bed that they always love to sleep in. Look at how small they were when we first got them. Look at them now. Doink! <laughs> Their bodies barely fit, but they don't let it stop them. How adorable is that? Oh, busted. Yeah, I wonder when they'll stop sleeping on that little bed. I'll keep a keep an eye on it for you guys. Here's the boys seeing rain for, I don't know, possibly their first time. It doesn't rain a lot in Southern California. They've only been alive for about three months. I don't remember another rainstorm coming through. This might have been their first experience with rain. Well, let's listen in. Maybe we can hear some. You can actually hear the rain pretty well, along with my son in the background and some sirens, apparently. All very relaxing sounds. Speaking of relaxing, look at that. <laughs> Simon is in heaven. Rocky boy giving him the soft pets on the back. All right, so we had the rain. Now we have the afternoon sun. This is footage from a video that I put up a couple days ago on our channel called Kittens in the Afternoon. So I got a new iPhone and my iPhone has this uh, video mode called cinematic mode and I was testing it out and I love it. See how it catches the beams of light? Like a J.J. Abrams movie with the light beams. Uh, Spielberg-esque you could say. So I started filming the cats in the afternoon with the beams of light. Every afternoon these two meet up on this rug and they lick each other and they fight each other. 
So this afternoon, actually today, I set up a bunch of chairs and I filmed them fighting in the sun from a bunch of different angles. I'll put that out soon. That was super awesome. This is my favorite time of day with the cats. They always go wild in the afternoon. Oh yeah, Sentinella Pet Supply, a store that I had never heard of until three weeks ago. Now I've been there three times. Rocky wants that one for the kitties, the biggest, most expensive one, of course. Thank you, Rocky. I like this store. A lot of room, wide aisles, lots of stuff I don't need and will never buy, but I do like to look at it. Rocky loves to run up and down these aisles. The dude gets a full-blown workout every time we come to Sentinella. Some, I might just start bringing him here instead of the park sometimes. I think I have some footage of him doing wind sprints up the aisles. That'll be coming up here momentarily. There it is. And come on back. Good boy, Rocky. Yeah, we had to get some supplies right here for the, for the kittens, bring them home, and then we had to take the kittens to Long Beach because guess what? It's time for their third round of shots. Okay, full disclosure, we are in the Starbucks drive-thru and we are on our way to Long Beach. Rocky, say hi. Hi. Lorna, say hi. Hi. The kittens are in their little case there and uh, they're getting their third round of shots. They're also reuniting with their foster mother and a couple of the kittens that were with them at the foster house, including some of their brothers, I believe. We'll find out when we get there, but that's what we're doing. Come along, bye, see you soon, bye. Rocky, how are the kitties doing? Good. Yeah? Hey. Hey, boys. You ready to see your foster mom again? And here we are. We are getting a small tutorial on how to properly trim the kitten's nails. Lorna and I thought we were doing a good job, but I guess we weren't trimming them deep enough. We were barely hitting the tips. We were scared to hurt the boys, but... I guess you can get in there a little bit. They're honestly pretty good about getting their nails trimmed. They don't fight us too much. Checking out the teeth. That's Summer behind Link, holding onto the back of Link there with the blue shirt. She is the foster mom. Yeah, she fostered all the kittens and found them all loving homes, and she ended up keeping one of the, the kittens as well. Ah, oh, another awesome week filled with love and lessons learned. I've learned too. Simply let the kittens climb, okay? They're gonna climb anyway. Enjoy the climbing is all you can do. Feed the kittens. Turns out that if you feed them enough calories during the day to sustain their active lifestyle, they won't act like lunatics unhinged every time you walk into the kitchen. My bad. We're all learning here. Uh, we learned that Simon is a pop culture freak and uh, he has a serious TV addiction. But we also learned that kittens are the best. I don't know if we learned that. I think we already knew. They are great. So glad that mankind and kittenkind alike decided to be friends so long ago. So glad I adopted these kitties with my family. So glad that uh, you guys are enjoying these videos. Hoping that you are, of course. Um, thanks for watching this one. Thanks for all the comments and love you've been sending our way. We appreciate it and more videos to come everybody. Have a great week. Kittens in the rain.